All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and reach. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena, in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Rustam Tiger Abilov. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making fun. their strategy the way that they need to. It's a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Come on, man. I need more punches. Let's go. Those Look at him drive his chin into the whole body with that body kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Leg kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Another leg kick land. Nice kicks there by Lee. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And he landed the right. 
right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. Whoa! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. He is all about that left kick to the body. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Big kick land. Back and forth we go. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, wow! Head kick. Forward, forward. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Kabbalah gets touched by that leg kick attempt. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. That kick blocked by Khabalov. Big call from punch land. Now we get back to range. Let your hands go. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Just missed with the left there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big kick land. Leg kick checked effectively there by Lee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Head kick lands. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Able to check the high kick. That's a big strike right there. Oh, collar tie. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting poker spins. But instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Take control of it, move forward. When he sets on you, take him down. And then just keep mixing it up. Give me those kicks too, baby, give me those kicks too. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Nice leg kick land. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Man, he keeps 
Sean coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Certainly buckled him earlier in the fight. He knows he's hurt there. Oftentimes, it takes just one to get his opponent down to the canvas. Out of range with that kick attempt. What a tricky head kick. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Spinning back fist. Ooh, what a punch. Kovalov's kick to the body is blocked. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a con? Oh, now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Copy his lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big punch land. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Big roundhouse now just misses. Tags him with the left. He can't even, he can barely stand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away to try to escape his very, very dangerous position. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Just unable to quite find that range. Kabilov getting tattooed by that stiff jab. Real nice body kick land. Good punch land. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job. Oh! How about those five minutes? So a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Breath in for me. All right, listen. I need you to go 
go out there, and I want you to do more of that. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Nice punch lands over the top. Beautiful hit. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Pretty good right hand. Block that kick to the body. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Nice loop and punch. Kavilov's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, big left hand there. Oh! Slee's got the full mount. Oh, got him! You got him! All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Kabbalah. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. He got the turn in that kick. Head kick, that's a miss. Oh, uppercut. I mean, he's cutting him down the sides with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Big leg kick land. Three minutes to go in round three. Dig and kick. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Nice straight punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And he caught the kick. Certainly found the target. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Nice punch there by Kavalov. He's, he's limping now. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Straight right hand, no good. to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Good spin. Lands the right hand. Oh, beautiful technique for him there on that side kick. Another punch position. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Final seconds here. 
big kick. And he comes through with a big knee. How about those five minutes? Huh? Huh? So a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Kabalov gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Nice head kick. Great punch landed. Side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Kabilov gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Leg kick land. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world class display of striking here. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! Oh, my goodness, what a fight! A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at one minute, 14 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public.